Yeah, my <coughs> I arrived on the 18th of um, of March. 18th today is the first of April. That means uh, so far I've been in the country for 15 days. I was traveling in from the UK. So 15 days I have not been uh, home. Of course, that is really traumatizing. The fact that you're in your country, you can't meet, you can't see your people, you can't meet them. Um, yeah, I understand it's quarantine, and of course, you know what we are trying to fight. All that will be understood, but uh, psychologically, it really affects you. And of course, all this is aggravated by the fact that the first days of our quarantine were not really well managed and the trauma somehow goes on even now that we are in better circumstances. Uh, currently I'm at Arch Apartments in Intinda. The circumstances are quite better and you get a sense that the people around understand how quarantine should be, how it should be managed. Yeah, but being alone in your room for uh, uh, 15 days um, it, it doesn't leave you psychologically the same. And this is worsened by, at times, the messages, the kinds of comments we hear from outside. Uh, people talking as if those in quarantine are the problem, or as if those in quarantine are sick. Sometimes I'm in my room and I, I hear people outside, the workers, um, making such comments, or oh, this is a place of sickness, or uh, that we are in a sick environment, so we need protection. Uh, well, there are those random comments, and you have to be psychologically very strong to remain alive, to rem uh, for your mind to, uh, for you to maintain the sanity in such an environment. And it appears that much of our focus now, much of our concentration is in uh, fighting the spread of the disease, and that there isn't attention that is put on the well-being of uh, people in the process of fighting the other kinds of effects. I've um, had many experiences at times we communicate on social media, we have a group of people who are here. Uh, yes, sometimes you hear that saying they lock up themselves up in the rooms and cry. Sometimes uh, people not eating because they even don't have the appetite. Yeah, all these things come with um, um, with such measures like quarantine, and sometimes they are inevitable. But there should be measures that are put in place that they don't get to the extremes. Ever since we came here. Uh, I have not seen a psychologist. The time we were at Entebbe Inn, there are two psychologists, two counselors that came around and talked to people. And I think if you're able to meet those psychologists, uh, they'll tell you that some of the stories were quite uh, depressing. Some of the things people had gone through, it's assumed that people who travel are well off. It's assumed that uh, uh, these are people who can handle anywhere. And we've had all sorts of comments of. Uh, Bali Benjira Chi why were they loitering around and sometimes you just feel that our people are quite insensitive.